Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. Today we'll learn how to solve a simple equation with a variable. I'm going to explain a few tips to you uh, each step by step and then I'll work through one big equation that puts everything together at the end of this video. An equation like our example here 2x minus 3 equals 5 can be solved by simplifying first, uh, adding or subtracting, or multiplying or dividing something with the equation. When we're finished, we'll have our answer, or answers, for what x could be to make the equation true. You may already know PEMDAS to simplify expressions. And in case you don't, let's uh, refresh your memory here. Uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That's the way I remembered it in school. Uh, P stands for parentheses, E for exponents, M for multiply, D for divide, A for add, and S for subtract, and that's the order you're supposed to simplify equations in. Uh, you should go, uh, always go ahead and simplify each side of the equation whenever you can. You're going to simplify the left-hand side by itself as far as you can, and you're going to simplify the right-hand side uh, by itself as far as you can. And when I say left and right, I'm talking about uh, the left-hand side on the left of the equal sign, the right-hand side on the right of the equal sign. For example, um, if we had a different equation uh, than what's on here, let's say 2x plus 3x is equal to 4 times 5, we're going to want to simplify first, and uh, we can add the 2x and the 3x because those are like terms. 2x plus 3x is 5x. And that side just stays on that side. 4 times 5 is 20. So each side was simplified by itself. Uh, we end up with four. Uh, we end up with five x is equal to twenty once both sides are simplified. Now, once you've simplified until you can't simplify anymore, it's time to start adding or subtracting, multiplying or dividing the equation uh, so that you get x all by itself. Keep in mind that equation is kind of like a balanced seesaw. If you add 5 pounds to the left-hand side, you got to do the same exact thing. You have to add 5 pounds to the right-hand side in, or, in order to keep it in balance. It's the same thing for equations. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do the exact same thing to the other. The tricky part is figuring out what you should do to the equation to get x all by itself. And as you work through these steps, always ask yourself, what is being done to the x, or whatever variable you're working with? In uh, the example we're working with, 5x equals 20, the x is being multiplied by 5. To get x all by itself, we want to undo what is being done, or the opposite. What's the opposite of multiplying by 5? It's divide by 5. That's what will get x all by itself. So here, I'll draw a little line here to show that I'm dividing by 5. And remember, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So we'll divide our 20 by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. We don't have to write, it, write a 1 because 1 times x is just x. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. And we'll just go ahead and write that one more time, uh, just nice and cleaned up. x is equal to 4. Now, uh, what do we do if there's more than one choice uh, for what to do? Like if we could uh, either multiply or divide or subtract. Um, like our example here, 2x plus 3. We could either subtract the 3 from both sides or we could divide both sides by 2. Uh, remember, we're doing the opposites. The opposite of uh, the x being multiplied by 2 is divide by 2. Now, how do you know what to do first? Uh, let me refresh your memory here for our order of operations, PEMDAS. And of course, remember, adding and subtracting can go together, and multiplication and division can go together. The easiest way to solve equations is to do the reverse of PEMDAS. So normally when simplifying, we go down the row, but when we're going to solve equations, go backwards from the uh, S-A-D-M-E-P, backwards. Do your subtra subtraction and addition first, 
then your division and multiplication, then exponents, then parentheses. So in this example, we have a plus sign. We'll work with that first, since it's the last on the PEMDAS order. What's the 3 doing to the x? Well, the 3 is adding to the x. How do we undo that? We'll subtract by 3. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. Positive 3 minus 3 is nothing, and we don't have to write it. So what we're left with is 2x is equal to 11 minus 3 is 8. We get 2x is equal to 8. Now we work our way back up the PEMDAS order, multiplication, and division come next. What's the 2 doing to the x? It's multiplying. What's the opposite of multiplying by 2? Divide by 2. Divide both sides by 2. As we divide uh, the left-hand side by 2 to get rid of the 2, but we have to do the same thing to the right-hand side to keep the equation in balance. 2 divided by 2 cancel out to 1, and we don't have to write it because x times 1 is x. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now let's work an example that puts it all together. Uh, 2 times the quantity x minus 3 minus 1 is equal to 15. First we're going to simplify both sides. I know that uh, the 2 can be multiplied into the parenthesis to give us 2x minus 6. That's the parenthesis part. The minus 1 just uh, stays where it is. Is equal to 15. I see my minus 6 and minus 1 are both normal numbers, so they can simplify also. 2x minus 7 is equal to 15. There's nothing we can simplify on the right-hand side of the equation that's already as simple as it gets. And the left-hand side is now fully simplified. Now what we'll do is our reverse PEMDAS order, uh, starting with any addition and subtraction I see. Here's an addition and subtraction, uh, minus 7. I'm going to switch colors just to let you know we got into our solving the equation step. I ask myself, what is the 7 doing to the x? The 7 is subtracting from x. And I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Now, knowing whether you're going to add or subtract, just look at the sign that's immediately in front of the number. Here it was negative, and I'm going to do the opposite of it. Negative 7 plus 7 is nothing. It cancels out to leave us with nothing but 2x on the left-hand side. 15 plus 7 is 22. Now I ask, what is the 2 doing to the x? The 2 is multiplying the x. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is divided by 2. And I have to do the same thing to the right-hand side to keep the equation in balance. 2 divided by 2 is 1, uh, so we're left with an x. 22 divided by 2 is 11. And it certainly can get more complicated than that, but this method uh, will get you off to a good start. Uh, just follow the rules. Number 1, simplify each side first. Number 2, whatever you do, do the same thing to both sides. And number 3, go in the reverse PEMDAS order when solving the equation. And of course keep your eye out for future videos uh, so I can explain uh, other topics that come up in solving equations. Well thanks for joining me for this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. Help me help you by leaving comments, asking questions. Uh, also go to the website yourtutoronline.com, visit the contact page, leave me a note to tell me what topics you are working on right now or what you know you'll be covering in class in the coming weeks. Um, perhaps something you'd like to hear me explain. Uh, if these videos are helpful to you, please share them with your classmates. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, happy studying.